But welcome to Expeditions Rome. Now, I've never played Expeditions. I never played any of the Expeditions game. Uh, that's one of the things that I did not grow up with at all. However, I'm really excited for Expeditions Rome, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. So we're going to try it. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and let's see. I've already done that. Cool beans. Neato. Let's just do a new game. Welcome. Don't forget to use tactical items. Okay. In the year of Lucius Licinius Lucullus, Rome was prosecuting several wars of self-defense, most notably in Greece, where Lucullus himself was commanding the legions. With everyone's gaze directed at the provinces, few could have known that a seemingly inauspicious event in Rome would become the central fulcrum around which the fate of the Republic would turn. The paterfamilias of a venerable patrician house had passed away unexpectedly, and a senator by the name of Vitellius Scaevola had made a bid the hand of his eldest child. His widow alone believed that Scaevola had poisoned her husband, and now strove to take his place and claim his property through marriage. Acting in secret, the widow arranged for her youngest child to be taken out of their villa in the dead of night and smuggled out of Rome. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, oh, wow. There's a lot of options here. All right. So I have no idea what, uh, what you guys can and cannot do. Just so you know, uh, I don't know any of it. However, as long as it's appropriate, because this is a family friendly stream. Uh, if you have names that you want me to do, Ooh, we might be here a little bit. I'm a big fan of Quintilius. I really don't want to be Claudius. We're going to go with Quintilius for now. Uh, what should my portrait look like? I like that dude. That dude. That's what we're going to have. All right, cool. Uh, let's go. I'm okay with that. We're going to go with tan. I like it long. Let's see. Blonde hair. Eh. Wine red. So yeah, if you guys have any... Uh, <laughs> we, could be, we could be short. I want to be very tall just for kicks and giggles. Uh, nickname. Just go with Havoc. And then uh, first name. Uh, let's go with uh, Gracchus. I like Gracchus. Gracchus Quintilius. That was a pretty cut and dry toggle camera just. Oh, okay. Does that look like a face that can lead Rome? I like it. Doesn't really match him, but. They don't have any like long haired options. Give me the choice of having long hair, but not long haired options. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Character creation rhetorical style. Each of these three perks unlocks unique dialogue options to persuade other people in different situations. Think about what kind of character you want to roleplay and choose your rhetorical style accordingly. During the story, you may get a chance to master a second technique. So we have ethos, logos, and pathos. Um, ethos is the art of using the power of your authority or your abilities to get your way. Logos, the art of convincing someone with sound logical arguments. And pathos, the art of winning people over using stirring uh, rhetoric or emotional manipulation. Now, I typically go with a Logos style playthrough uh, that kind of just role plays as mine, uh, the way I like to play. Uh, as I mentioned, I prefer to go Logos, although I do tend to go Pathos. Ethos is not really ever my style. I don't really ever like pushing people. I tend to be a, you know, on the light side instead of on the darker side. Uh, now that being said, if anyone has any suggestions, then I could certainly uh, do it, but if not, we'll just continue playing how we're gonna go close all right this is uh how will history remember you oh this is cool we're gonna do hard uh combat death uh combat death enables permanent death of party members if they bleed out during combat be warned if a story companion or your own characters dies it's game over this is disabled non-story praetorians can still die from untreated in we're gonna stick with no combat death and I only do that because I'm only here for four hours and I'd like to try and get through the whole thing. And if a combat death happens, that ends the game 
it's going to be a big heavy deter. Uh, but then also Iron Man is what we might do. Disables manual saving, restricting you to single autosave. Your save is not deleted upon death, but you must live with your mistakes. We're going to go and work with that. Just for Did you hear me, Domine? Your body is surely present, but your mind seems somewhere else. All right. This should be something that you can vote on. Am I right? Maybe not. Whatever. I'm just going to roll with it. Your body is surely present, but your mind seems somewhere else. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Sorry, old friend. I guess I'm still thinking about what happened. I'm just stunned by the beauty of the sea. Look how blue it is. I feel like I'm out of my depth. What will I do? Our departure was very sudden, I know. But do not dwell on the past. <clears throat> Better to focus on what's coming at you. I like that this I is voice acted. I asked how close we are to Lesbos, but uh, he would not give me a straight answer. Still just claims we're close to our destination. In his defense, there are many islands on this sea, and they mostly look the same. Will you check with the Triarchus? Hopefully he will give you a clearer answer. He told me his name is Geminus. Oh. So I can only choose this because of my... Okay, that's cool. I like that. The man, the, the man may genuinely not know our position. I'll see if I can if help him. If nothing you. else, you do have a way of making unreasonable people see reason. You should also go and thank Quintus Aquilinus. Uh, I think when, uh, when Quintus Aquilinus for getting you out of Rome, ask the Triarchus Geminus how close you are. Is it Geminus? Geminus? How close you are to Lesbos? Um, yeah. Thank, thank you, you for bringing me along. It'll be wonderful Hi, to see my thank homeland you. again. Thank you for bringing me along. It'll be wonderful to see my homeland again. Uh, let your mother paid Geminus handsomely to set off in great haste under cover of night. Two others did board with us, also bound for Lesbos. <laughs> Young Gaius has been pacing impatiently over there, wearing grooves into the deck. There was a gladiator too, but I don't know where he went. Uh, we left so quickly, my worry. mother and sister. The Witellius brothers have no <clears throat> reason to do them any harm. Besides, you cannot save them by worry. Focus on the task. You don't if deep. Cool beans. Let's, uh... So, Quinticus Aquilinus for getting you out of Rome, and then ask the... Uh, okay, there he is. All right. Um, how do I hit? Oh, okay. Now these games were left mouse. You found play. your sea legs quickly, Domine. Ah! Clipping! Ah, I'm walking through people! Who are you? Gaius? He's not on here. Hey, come here! Come here! Talking at you! Also, don't fall off. Can you fall off? Uh, we'll go talk to, uh, Quin 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 Quincius. You handle the sea better than most. I'm glad. Uh, Centurio, I want to thank you for your timely arrival at my villa. No need to thank me. The consul sent me to get you. Please, call me Kaiser, if it's not too familiar. They can call me Happy. With all due respect, I'd better not. <laughs> <clears throat> ah, she did not keep you apprised. <clears throat> your mother has secretly been making arrangements with the consul. You are to join his command staff as Tribunus. You will have what very little duty? responsibility. The Tribunus of Allegio assist the Legatus while they learn how to command a military organization. Nice. You will not see combat, nor will you make any important decisions. You'll be safe, as your mother wanted. Uh, I'm not here to be kept safe. I want to build my reputation, make powerful friends. I'm going to follow, if I'm going to follow the Legion around, I might as well I'm make sure myself the useful. Will find use for you. You seem <clears> to have a good head on your shoulders. You'll get the hang of things quickly. One word of advice. I know Lucullus is a friend of your family, but remember, he is the consul, elected by the people to rule all of Rome. It's best if you don't act too familiar with him in front of his men. Gotcha. Uh, what's your relationship with Lucullus? For many years, I was the primus pellis of Legio Prima Italica, which he commands. Are you saying all those Latin words? He needed someone he could trust to get you out of Rome and keep <clears> you safe. Will you be returning to your position that when position we reach Lesbos? been filled by one of my Centurionis, a good man 
Easily up to the task. My job now is to watch your back and help you settle into your new life. Happy to be at your service. Have we talked to any of the other pass and oh no! Can I talk to him still? Oh no. That gummit. Yeah. Can I ask him if he talked to anyone else? Solway. Solway. We've been properly introduced. My name is Gracchus Quintilius Havoc. Uh haven't seen you board in the ship. I'm Gracchus Quintilius. It is a one? pleasure. I am Gaius Julius Caesar. Alright. Not at all. But keep in mind, I'm not the most experienced soldier either. I was born in Rome, but they say my family is from Alba Longa. Getting into some history here. I didn't realize we were going to be with Caesar himself. Or Caesar. That's a long story, <clears throat> my friend. Suffice to say, the powers that be are not fond of me. I have decided that staying in Rome could be, shall we say, uh, hazardous to my health. <clears throat> if you don't play an important part, you will be torn apart. My father used to say. I guess that was his way of telling me to be brave and hopefully not stupid. How many wars have you fighting? To be honest, this will be my first <clears throat> proper battle. I did study a lot though, and therefore I am well versed in matters of strategy mm. and tactics. Mm. Mm. Uh, Sal, is it Sal Way? I didn't know the V was a W. Geminus. Yes. Wasn't it? Geminus. Salway. Geminus. I'm a little preoccupied. Are you? The wind's been rather still today. I've noticed the oars have been out since early in the morning. What's causing our delay? Right. The rowers are getting tired. We should let them rest soon, but that will cause even more delay. That's fine. A ship. They're oh ship no! Gorgeous. They're gonna ram. Get your father's weapons. Let's see if you can actually fight. <clears throat> I don't know that I can. Oh, gross. Are they Greeks? Blah. I. Uh, so that's going to be him. Uh, okay, so I'm going to be on the front line. Roger Dodger. Let's go ahead and do that. That should be good. Send off the pirate boarding party and then in is this what let's take a look here real quick though morale immune main hand based damage bludgeoning resistance fire resistance okay mm cool and some have limited charges per encounter okay so we have uh kaizo Quin quinskis willingness what does he have? He has Slash. First, he has Gladius, which does 3 to 5 critical damage. Shield Strength of 2. Pushes the target one hex away if there's a free space behind them. Also hits an enemy on the target's left for half damage. That's kind of handy. Slash is 3 to 5 slashing damage. Shield Push. Okay, there we go. That must be a kind of a secondary weapon. Brace regain, regain two stacks of strong. For each stack, 25% of the character's shield strength maximum is restored at the beginning of their turn. One stack is lost every time the shield takes a hit. All right, uh, let's actually start with the ranged boyo. Well done. Okay, he has a, a worn bow. He has an aim shot and a crippling shot. Applied Harry to enemies, ten, minus 10 to all resistance, minus 25 damage. Applies Cripple to enemies, 50% movement. 100% chance of success. 3 to 6 health damage. Alright, so he's hurt pretty daggum good. Crippled, minus 50% movement. Awesome. This early access to streamers, it's out. The demo is out now, someone. So exclamation point demo will uh, give you a link where you can uh, go and download it now. It's just their Steam page. Oh, and so he still has movement left. Gotcha. That's okay. I don't really want him to move anyways. Um, so yeah, you can you can play right now, everybody. All of you people watching can play with me. Concussive Strike. Bludgeoning damage, one armor shred, applies weakened to enemies. Reach. 
So we need to move here. Whack this, bro. Oh, wow. That was a pretty. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to move up here. It's got 14 damage. Fourteen health. We should just punch him. <laughs> I don't have anyone on, on my left. <clears throat> you know what? Yes, brilliant. So we'll be able to take out two of them. Actually, we'll be able to take out three. Because I can go here. Actually, this is just shield bash. But that still knocks him back. And then... Oh. You know what? This... Well, I don't, that probably doesn't count. Can I move here? Does this mean I can't... Oh, they might attack me. Okay, we're not going to do that. We'll just do this. <clears throat> oh, but he doesn't have anything left. That's right. Okay. That's, that's fine. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, let's go ahead and move this dude up. And we'll move this guy up. Um, I think that's all we can do. We still have unspent action points. Oh. Cool. But I can't do anything. Okay, yeah, I can't do anything. So that's Okay, so who's incapacitated? If you move out of a hex that's adjacent to an enemy, they will get an attack of opportunity. That's not what I wanted. Oh. Well, let's just let's just get it over. With. Uh, what does Reach do? One armor shred, four to seven bludgeoning damage. Uh, deadly with that thing. I've lived other lives before this one. Uh, God it. Is he terrified? What does he have? Routed. Cannot take actions at the beginning of the turn. Next character moves a random hex. Fantastic. Um, let's go with, you know what? This should affect this guy too. It did not. Okay. It must have, I probably should have gone right there. Well, fiddlesticks. This really sucks because two of my guys are bleeding out. And there's nothing else I can do. And then he's routed for another turn. All right, well, this isn't good. There you go. Action restored. Keep going, dude. Nice. Yes. Keep going, my man. Ow. Don't do that. That hurts. A glancing blow. Oh, my word. You should... Mm. Howard. Uh, he might die. I really need to get back there. Logistics applies coordinated to allies. Plus two movement maximum. That doesn't. I don't need that. I'm not trying to get back there. Uh, let's go. Fingers crossed this kills him. Exactly what I wanted to have happen. Uh, and I have to go to this dude. Okay. Not the best, but it's not the worst. Uh, he will probably be incapacitated. And I don't know how to apply bandages and stuff. And this guy should be done at the next turn. Fingers crossed. That didn't do good. There you go. Stab the old man. 
Oh, crap. Good, you came back, finally. Uh, let's go here. We are going to use aimed shot. That's going to give us, restore our... Oh, he wasn't a pleb. That's why he wasn't untrained. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go with... We'll do slash here. That'll get... Oh, that didn't give it back. it. Okay, well, we're going to go this way. We're going to use... Nice. And then we got our skill back, so I can go here and hit this hook phase. Or I can't. But he was a pleb. Should have gotten my action point back. I don't know why I didn't. All right, one more turn. Crap, man. <laughs> We've lost like almost everybody. If I were 20 years younger. I should, should be able to kill him. That's three to five, and he only has three left. Oh, wow. We could have him. An injured. Okay. Everyone got uninjured. I'm sure they're just like, this is your first battle. So no matter what, uh, we came out uninjured. Wow. wow. Moving past green consumes your attack. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I moved outside of that. Uh, the Triarch has ran straight into a pirate ambush. Allow me to execute him? No. <clears throat> We're sailing to go to uh, to join a war against pirates. It's not so surprising. We should be attacked by pirates on our way. Don't be naive. This was no random attack. They were out for blood. That's gross. Doesn't moving class uh, count as an action? It does not. Nope, we have movement and we have attack. <clears throat> prefer to attack lightly defended coastal towns instead. It's less risky and more profitable. Well, let's go talk to the man. Let's do it. Question the triarch. Hey, bro. Geminus, you steered us into a trap. What do you have to say for yourself? I had nothing to do with it, I promise. They came out of nowhere. Silence! You utter nonsense! You utter nonsense. Good job of that fight. Now what do you do about... Uh, we're about to find out. We cannot execute a man based on no evidence. Besides, we need our Triarchus to make it... This is true. Sure. What do you say, kid? What do you think? We You're the Primus. That kind of decision is your responsibility. Why do you want him dead, Gladiator? Gaius, if pirates don't attack ships, as you say, why would these ones make an exception? It needs to be executed. What's done is done. There's nothing to gain from executing the Triarchus now. So, since you guys can't actually interact, let's ask Gaius, if pirates don't attack ships, as you say, why are these ones making an exception? Us important people on our way to join the action against Lesbos. Is it not conceivable that the rebels heard of us? I guess the kingdom it. of Pontus is known to sponsor pirates, to harass and weaken Rome. I do not <clears> believe <throat> we have any reason to suspect our Triarchus of colluding with them. I'm just a humble Cantorio, albeit a particularly well dressed. Particularly well dressed one. Lucullus has greater plans for you. <clears throat> Your father's dead. The time to rely on others to make difficult decisions for you is gone. All right, what do you guys say? I'm willing to let him go. But I don't want to do another poll back to back like that. But he needs to be executed or what's done is done. There's nothing to gain. All right. All right. I'm going to do it. Do it. No tolerance for failure. Very well. And then just swim to shore. <laughs> I'm here to succeed, not to fail. No one intends to fail. <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> Even the gods. Please. I told you. Keep silent. Do it. 
Do it. Oh. Nice. Rowers, up the tempo. Keep your eyes open. Conciliatory Praetorians disapprove. I did have a couple of people approve, though. Quest succeeded Pirates on the Mediterranean. All right. Try playing around with different weapon skill combinations. See what suits your play style. All right, character creation class. Uh, Sagittarius, the ability to strike at a distance makes archers very flexible. Ampered only by shields, which deflects their arrows. We can be a marksman. We're defensive archers. Uh, marksmen are defensive archers that deny areas to the enemy. Hunters are close range, multi-target shooters. Snipers prefer to pick off single targets at a great distance. So if we did that, <clears throat> that's just for the Sagittarius. We could be a Velius or a Willis. Uh, speed and unpredictability of light infantry allows them to cause chaos. Assassins have good mobility. Duelists are evasive fighters. Brawlers are versatile fighters that excel. Hey Strider, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. We could be a Principe or, or would that be Princips? Heavy armor and sturdy tower shields give Rome's frontline infantry unparalleled survivability. Principe is the most straightforward class to play. Yeah, I'm not for that. Uh, defenders focused on survivability. Vanguards charge into the fray. Veterans lock down enemies and resist enemy attempts to do the same to them. What is this? Ooh, a Triarius. We might have to do this one. The third line of a Roman legion can reduce the effectiveness of enemies and improve the performance of their allies. Medics heal their teammates and remove negative effects. Flag bearers control the battlefield by buffing allies and moving uh, enemies. Destroyers deliver devastating attacks that damage enemy armor. So, as a little bit of context here, I typically roll archers. Uh, I like, I like shooting from afar. I don't necessarily like being in the mix. So I'm inclined to go with the Sagittarius. However, if I had a second option, I would probably be the Triarius because I am a fan of Triarii, uh, especially when it comes to like Rome, uh, Total War. And things of that nature. Plus, I just like spear boys. I just really do. Didn't know there was a class selection. Yeah, I had no idea either. Like, I'm discovering this much as much as you guys are. Uh, so I'm more inclined to go this and like go to a sniper. <clears throat> Ranging shot is 12 hexes. Apply spotted ranged attacks against this target. Deal full damage regardless of distance. Quick shot. If I did uh, a hunter. Shoot two individually selected targets with minus 30% accuracy and 30% chance to miss. Isn't that like a 60% buff against me hitting it? Deflected by shields affects multiple targets. Interrupt 6 to 11 piercing damage. Knock an arrow and wait for an enemy to move within a 120 degree cone in front of you. Oh, that's uh, that is XCOM. What is that called? What is it when you lay down something and end, your, and end your turn I can't remember but that's that's what that is for role play value as a patrician leader I would pick Triarius for the flag bearer and overwatch thank you very much that's a good point though so if we did the Triarius and like you said for role play value as a patrician leader they control the battlefield by buffing allies and moving enemy applies rally to allies which gives them 25% damage you know what? I think we will roleplay like that. I appreciate you suggesting it. Yeah, we'll do that. Like I said, it's... Um, oh, hold to unlock. <clears throat> All right. Uh, do we get to choose anything? So we have Heavy Lorica Hamada, which is regular strong armor. We have uh, Princip's Helmet 1. All resistance is 6. And then we have the Lankia, which is a worn pike. 4 to 7 damage. Armor Shred 1. Critical damage 3. We have skills of hamstring and marking strike. Oh, okay. Ranged attacks against this target deal full damage. Cool. I'm up for it. I like it. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> 